Good morning, campers. Uh, on the platform with me, we have Dr. Chester Coomer. He is the Director of Health for the South um, Pacific Division. Uh, my name is Neil Marks. I'm Director of Health for this conference. Um, Dr. Coomer, um, I remember reading a book once about the coming of the white man to the Pacific in the 18th century. It had a devastating impact. The book was called The Fatal Impact, mm. as white man's diseases wiped out the island populations. But I understand in this the 21st century, there's another fatal impact occurring in the Pacific. Would you like to share with us what is happening? There is a pandemic that is sweeping across the Pacific right now. We're talking a disease category that is the cause of death of about 70 to 80% of our people in the Pacific. And it's lifestyle disease, particularly diabetes. May, could you share with us some of the stats? Because okay. I've heard some of the stats and they are incredible. Yeah, it's alarming. Uh, you take Papua New Guinea, for example, a population of approximately 7 million people, 17.3% are diabetics. You're talking 1.3 million people. You take that and contrast that with Australia, 25 million people in this beautiful country, and a prevalence rate of diabetes of only 1.6 million. So when you're talking disease burden, you're talking a huge crisis in the South Pacific. American Samoa, 50% of the population is diabetic. And right across the Pacific, we're talking a grim story with lifestyle disease. So it truly is a fatal impact. It's, a, oh. it's definitely a fatal impact. All, all over again. Mm. Now, the, the SPD has come up with a, a very exciting initiative. And uh, could you share with us, Dr. Coomer, um, what that's about? And I think everyone has some brochures on their chairs, don't they, to do that? Oh, yeah, that. you've got, it's all there. You can, you can look at it um, and uh, come 2.30 this afternoon because I'm going to share with you some more stories and you don't want to miss this afternoon. But, uh, Neil, I reckon it's God doing a new thing, you know. Yes. Okay, you like that? <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, um, so there are three things that are involved in, with the uh, 10,000 Toes Initiative. We'd like to see all our local churches right across the Pacific become wellness centers or wellness hub. Okay. So we've been talking clinical physicians like nurses trying to address this problem. We're now going to the churches and saying, hey, come, let's work together on this because these are Christians who are dying right across the Pacific because of this disease. Okay, so um, um, churches, local churches become well, becoming wellness centers or hub. The next uh, uh, strategy is uh, we would like to intensify on CHIP, on CHEP and the Live More Abundantly program, which is the equatorial version of CHIP, okay? That's going to be very applicable for people in the villages who cannot read or who cannot write, okay? So that's the Live More Abundantly. So that's the number two. Number three strategy is we'd like to train health professionals across the Pacific on how best to deal with lifestyle disease, particularly diabetes, by the creation of a South Pacific society of lifestyle medicine. Now that's really going the extra mile, if you like. It's a new thing altogether, and I believe God is working here. And just to give you an example, uh, the Fiji School of Medicine, which is um, part of the uh, Fiji National University, is now considering, this is after discussions, considering including in the MBBS, that this is the basic degree for training of doctors, including a curricula in lifestyle medicine. We've never seen this anywhere before in the Pacific, so this is going to be a real new thing, and we'd like your support with this. So with God's blessing, this could make a huge impact in it's, the Pacific. It's going to be a powerful wedge. Take this. It's going to be a powerful wedge for the entrance of the gospel right throughout the Pacific. We're going to connect with people up right here, government, institutions, corporate organizations, but we're going to also connect with people right down there at the grassroots level. So that's, that's a story about the 10,000 toes.
One last thing, these brochures that people have on their seats, what's all that about? Okay, so the first one is some details about uh, how you can uh, get in touch with us. So there's some email address, uh, sorry, some website address and Facebook uh, address there. Uh, please uh, go in there because there's some very interesting stories and things that you can find in there. You can also donate through there. And this is, uh, I'm just praying that all this can be filled out. So that we can have these three strategies, you know, really up and running. I pray that God will bless each one of you this morning. Thank you. Thank you.